This is Come and See with Father Philip Hall, turning to and following Christ in the 21st century. Father Philip is parish priest at All Saints of Lincolnshire Orthodox Church in Lincoln, England. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is one. Amen. Begin by reading Luke chapter 8, verses 41 to 56. In this we see several examples of prayer, but I'm going to just concentrate on two of them. The first one is Jairus. His daughter is extremely ill. Does he say to himself, well, it'd be nice if my daughter was well and she didn't die? Or does he go up to Christ, fall at his feet, beg with all his might, please, come lay hands on my daughter and she will be well? Does he risk everything? Risk his position as the ruler of the synagogue? Does he throw himself before Christ asking for mercy? Yes, he does all of these things. We don't find here somebody who is timid, wondering whether it might be a good idea, asking if it would be nice, making a little tiny prayer. He's not doing that at all. He's praying with all of his might before God, risking everything about himself because he loves his daughter, he desperately wants her healed, he desperately wants the Lord to come lay hands on her, he desperately wants her back. And so he makes this prayer with the fullness of his body, even his body down in the dust before the Lord. And then what about that other lady? There she is with this hemorrhage of blood going on for year after year after year. She is meant to stay away from everybody else. She's meant to stay away because she will pollute them. But taking her courage in her hands, she goes into the crowd. She weaves her way through the crowd. She stretches out her hand and she touches just the tiniest bit of the end of the fringe of his garment. She risks everything. She risks being found. She risks the anger, fury of the crowd. She risks the Lord himself saying, what are you doing? You're making me dirty as well, ritually unclean. See, she's risking that nothing might happen. She takes all of these risks, but still she does it. And this is her prayer. The one comes physically kneeling and bowing before Christ, begging and pleading. She comes surreptitiously, pressing through the crowd, touching the hem of his garment. And both of them find that they have what they want. So many people say to me, Father, my prayers are never answered. God never listens to me. And I think, well, two things really. First is, did you ever listen? Did you ever allow him to respond to your prayer? And secondly, how much did you want it? Did you want it like Jairus? Throwing yourself on the ground, begging and pleading with all of your body, not worrying about what other people thought, not being concerned, even what God thinks, but knowing exactly what you want from God and asking. Were you like that woman? Did you risk absolutely everything in order to have the Lord listen to you? Or was it a timid, half-hearted prayer? Was it something that really you thought, well, if you know, if you'd like to do that, blah? No. Ask and you'll receive, says the Lord. Seek and you'll find. These are not little asks, little lookings for. It's not a game of hide and seek, not a game of questions and answers. This is a question of life and death. Both of these people were staring a sort of death in the face. The one, the death of his daughter. The other, the complete social death of herself. And they knew to whom to go. And they went. And in doing so, they put every other concern to one side. They knew where they would find their salvation. And they went to the Lord, asking, pleading, begging, slipping, sliding, touching, in order to get it. And in the one case, he received his daughter back well, despite the fact that everybody else 
had been laughing at them, saying, Oh, your daughter is dead. Hmm. Don't bother the teacher anymore. And the other case, the Lord does something really beautiful and wonderful. The only time we hear him say this, he looks at this woman who was bleeding, had been bleeding, who was ritually implore, impure, and who had touched God himself. And he doesn't say, what did you do touching me, God, and in polluting me with your blood? He says instead, daughter. The Lord looks at her and says, daughter. The only time you'll find that in the Gospels. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Everything that Jairus risked was worth it. Everything this lady risked was worth it. Now go and risk everything and pray for me. God bless you. Amen. Join us again next time for Come and See with Father Philip Hall, a listener-supported presentation of Ancient Faith Radio.